Right, hey bros, this is Daniel here. And Jamie. Uh, with the Ecstatic Bros. Today we'll be doing a quick review about the Paleo diet and how um, how we're going to be doing it. So for the next month or two we're going to be doing the Paleo diet, reviewing it every week how we feel and how it's affecting us in the gym, but we're both doing different sides of the Paleo diet as there is different um, thoughts to it on the forums and on the internet. For example, me and Jamie are both doing different things, such as for Jamie, you're doing... Uh, yeah, I'm still drinking milk, even though, like, you know, there's, like, different things about that. Like, people say that you shouldn't, people say that you should, but I'm still drinking milk anyway. You know, you've got to get that vitamin D for your bones. Uh, we're still taking protein, uh, powder, and, you know, I'm not going to skip out on that. Uh, I'm still drinking tea, just not as much. Uh, and all natural peanut butter, which is not too bad if you think about it, because it's just 100% peanuts. Yeah, it's natural. So it's just not that bad at all. And uh, what I'm doing is, I'm, instead of drinking tea, I'm drinking herbal teas. Um, I'm pretty much sticking to everything that they want from you, so um, just meat, so like chickens and fish and um, pork, like no, nothing added to it. And I try not to eat breaded, though sometimes I do have to because it's all I've got in the house and I'm, I'm kind of screwed on money sometimes due to it. So on the odd off I do eat breaded and things which is part of the diet which you shouldn't have but I'm not having bread. I'm still having protein, I'm having my serious mass protein which is about 1,500 calories in each scoop and I have um, half in the morning, half at night and sometimes I have a full scoop um, or two scoops every day along with my whey and protein just to help me bulk up to get even further into the uh, sporting thing. Also on uh, Sundays I have a roast dinner and I'm not skipping out on that and I have I go full out on that. I have sauces and I have gravy which is all full of fat I know but that's like the only few things that I'm doing which isn't inside the diet. Okay so well, yeah. Sunday things like it's just once a week mm -hmm. so it's, it's barely anything. It's kind of like a cheat meal like you shouldn't really have a cheat day because like it's like twenty four hours of just like Don't excuse eat. yeah excuse to just pig out. Like you, know, you get just people just eating all. like freaking Dominoes for like like three Dominoes in a day and Doritos and just sat around not doing anything. Like even with the cheat meal, like people can go crazy. But we would, our kind of cheat meal is something like uh, going out to like a steakhouse or to the Happy Egg Company. Uh, restaurant where you can have like omelettes and pancakes and stuff like that yeah well because of this paleo diet obviously we're gonna have like the pancakes instead i mean not the pancakes the omelettes uh sorry because the pancakes got flour in it and obviously you know that's all bleached and processed not good yeah so yeah we're just trying to stick to this paleo diet as hardcore as we can and the key thing with the paleo diet is if you don't really know what it is or you've heard about it and no one's really described it very well to you because I mean on YouTube you don't get many reviews and you don't get many people giving full on detail they just give their opinion upon what they've read and tell you what they've read and that's it um, first off you can Google it and research it but there is actual things that we will tell you throughout this um, basically what the paleo diet is and it's a caveman style of living so anything you can find such as me or hunt really, uh, meat, fish, and vegetables and fruits and seeds and nuts, stuff that you can find in the nature. That's what we can eat. Uh, you can't eat any meats that have been preserved with you know salts and all sorts of weird chemicals. You can't have any of those. It's all natural, um, organic living, the same way the cavemen did. Uh, because to be honest, due to evolution, that's how our bodies have developed. So it's the most natural way of living for humans. Yeah, I've read it up, like, apparently, like, the body the body still can't process uh, grains properly, like, and all the amount of carbohydrates that we have, like, they recommend, like, 300 grams, but apparently we can work on a lot less because that's what the human body's just used to. So, yeah. So, yeah, we'll be keeping you posted every week how we feel and how it's affecting us in our gym and um, our energy level. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.